Hello. Welcome to Project Argo, a conversion of Armour 3 and a prototype which is now being developed under Bohemia Incubator. When playing Project Argo, you will be able to choose one of our three scenarios, from which each will provide a different game experience. To enjoy the peak of tactical planning, try Clash. The largest gameplay area and slowest gameplay pace offers space for tactical maneuvering, flanking and long distance battles. In Clash, clouds and flames fight over a part of Molden on which some of the valuables from USS Argo have landed. The goal of both teams is to gradually seize sectors in the area by flying the faction flag and eventually to attempt to capture the enemy base. At the beginning, both teams start with three owned sectors from which they embark to neutral points placed in the center of the battlefield. If they successfully seize one of these neutral points, a route deeper into enemy territory opens up. During the phase concerning neutral points, both factions are in the position of attacker. In the event of fighting over owned sectors, one of the factions is always defending their position, while the other is invading their territory. Attacking one faction's base is always unique, as this phase can be one of the most challenging to complete. The scenario can be won in two ways. First is by capturing the opposite faction's base. The second is to achieve the score count of seven. The gameplay situation can be changed by capturing an airdrop. Seizing airdrop will provide an advantage to the team, which captured it in similar way as in the raid and link scenarios. In Clash, the airdrop will supply your team with the following. The attacking side will receive reinforcement in the form of respawn, while the reward for the side defending is a reduction of the time limit which the attackers have to complete their invasion. Enough said. Load your weapons and conquer the battlefield.